What is up? A welcome back to Technical Difficulty Tuesday. We are live, but I can't find us. I can't see your comments. I can't find the video. So, yeah. Oh, wait. I clicked on the Facebook thing to get there. All right. I see you guys. Hold on. All right. Let me see. Let me see who we got here. All right, I see Tyra and Rebecca and the Beebs, Helen, Nancy, Dawn, Tom, Nicole, Jen B, Christian. Oh, it's posted as unlisted. Mm. So what's that mean? Did you fix it? No, I don't know how to do that. I think you have to do a new one. Hold on, I'll go fix it. You think I got to do a new one? What does that mean, unlisted? I don't know. I just hit copy from last time. Well, I don't. I don't know if I should start or not start. Well, I don't know if you could see it in the thumbnail because I can't see it in the thumbnail. But this is what we're doing. We took our owls and we made them bees. Thanks to Kim Lance, this was her idea. She said I totally could see it as a welcome to our hive. So I did this a couple of weeks ago. Garrett just had to turn it into a cut file today. Don't worry, I have a bunch of new ones still in the hopper. I already did another uh, ladybug one and working on that five o'clock somewhere. I haven't quite figured out how where I want to take that one. So Scott, if you're watching, that one's coming. And as I look at this, does this seem giant size? This fits on this 16 inch round? Big, right? Uh oh. Are you guys still there? I made some changes. Let's see. Hey, it worked. All right. So now it popped up. All right. All right. All right. We're still there. Okay. Had it fixed. Go ahead. Let's see. I'll give people a minute. Give people a minute to join. I'll bust out my. Uh, Bust out my own. So if it was unlisted, does that mean only the people going in through maybe Discord or something were able yeah, to see it? Yeah, only if they had a link. But I updated it. What time is it? It's only 4.08. Look, if your teacher doesn't show up for eight minutes, you can go. But too bad. We were here at six. So now you got to stay. <laughs> so. <clears throat> All right. I still don't see it here, but I guess I will. Yeah, hit refresh now. No. Go to our channel, not just the lives. I think those were just the lives. Oh, there it is. There we go. And I see comments. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Back in business. It should be a quick one, so. But there's a bunch of people this here, so you got, but I, I recognize everyone's name, so I think you guys are all patrons, right? They all had the back door. Came in the back door. All right, so here's what we're doing today. If you weren't able to see the thumbnail because it was unlisted, we turn the owls into bees. Little magic, little magic wand. Poof. Owls are bees. But isn't it cute? I think that's a great new bee hanger. Yeah, I think that's better than our old bee hanger. Uh, I don't know. It's just different, and I like them both. The one like that we did boat. with the cricket and stuff. And I actually have made this one into a vertical leaner too. Garrett just hasn't made the cut file for that. I guess I gotta start making these cut files myself, right? It's time. He's it's time. he's getting annoyed at having to stay in his chair just to make cut files because I've been throwing designs like over the wall at him. I have so much to do. <laughs> so much to do, so little time. All right, well, I say let's get on it. What's happening here? Let me see what's happening in the chat. Yeah, let's see what's I'm I'm on it because I'm running late. Everybody says hello, hello. I thought you were gonna say we're kung fu fighting. Helen made us Helen said hello hangers, not sure if they know what's happening. <laughs> it was. We were sitting here, standing here trying to refresh our screen, yeah, getting it to show to up. Uh, well Tom said Odd that it wasn't showing up on the page as an upcoming event. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. because you had it unlisted. Somehow. You had to be in the know. 
Yeah, all I did is copy them from last week. Harold Bieber said, technical difficulties, yeah. <laughs> Had that one peg pegged. It's Tuesday. It happens. Oh, Alan said this live appeared as unlisted. Yeah, you guys are on it. You guys were on it before I read. I should have read the comments. Yeah, we were sitting here for like five minutes trying to figure out why we couldn't see ourselves. Yep, you guys are on it. You fixed it. I saw it pop up. Garrett fixed it. Yep, all right, all right. All right, that, that worked. Well, we got some updates. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of reminders. Oh, Hold Garrett. on, let me read my hand. I'm getting them off. Boy, just but why? Why do you around. need so much? Like, I know you've got this figured out by now. Because this is how much you need to cover a backer in one coat. Uh, well, right we don't cover in one Wait, coat. Wait, I am going to take it. No, I don't Because need then it. you're going to make it look all swimmy. No, it's fine. It's good. No. Hold on, let me finish. Here, it's going to look like it's got swim lanes in it. Just let me fix it. Oh, let me spread it out, and then you can grab the excess. Yes, Christian, I hear you in my head. Just, it's not too much paint if you keep spreading it. <laughs> right? That's what I'm doing. If I keep it moving, it's good to go. Look at that. Look, it really, can't, it really evened out. <laughs> Helen said, whatever you guys do, don't, do not like this video yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I got a good reason why you guys need to like this video. There you go. Look at that. It's fine. Got it's it. good. Hold on. Let me do this thing. Well, if I just give it one good swipe Wait, with a paper on, look. towel. I got it right here. No! No! Why are you doing that? That was too far. Now you're going to just... All right, no, that's no, good. No, that's no. good. Now that's you're going to spread it out. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> but you could not see... Yes! <laughs> There's plenty gone. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to get around. It's gone. Like it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> All right. That's a little better. A little better. Right. It's a little Boop. thin now. <laughs> well, thin. that's what happens with the first coat. That's what we call a first coat. What are you doing? I'm just getting off the edge. Jason's back, so watch yourself. <laughs> Go and get. All right. You guys see my hand? Hold on. I Kim did not see, see that he poured half the bag of paint on there. See, I saw that before I did. Though. She, was, I did. she was distracted. <laughs> there. All right, you guys want to see my reminders? Here. Can you see it? No, here, hold on. It's coming. Yes. All right. Lottery and laser everything. That's yep. Just... Two announcements. One, go play a lottery. It's like a billion dollars. Who couldn't use a billion dollars? I could. And then two, we're on a podcast tonight. Laser everything at nine o'clock. Now, does it go live tonight? I mean, is that a live? Yeah, thing? we're on live. Oh wow! Just double live in it today. Oh, okay. So we do. Yeah, come back and see us at nine p.m. Eastern. Well, not here. Just. Over on their channel, laser everything. Yeah. It's a like yellow and Follow black. me. Yeah, and follow us. <laughs> and see see where things go. I don't know how well they know Garrett. You guys could come on and tell them a little bit about who Garrett really is. I mean, who doesn't know Garrett? I mean, I saw the thumbnail. I feel like they might know who I am. And why me? What about you? <laughs> Why did I'm, I just get singled out? I'm the straight man in this. <laughs> Are you now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right. Wait. Oh, what? Did you just see the one? Right here. Nah, that's that's old. Okay, so you don't need all those little nah. pieces. For the I actually time. this test cut was done around one, so I did get to see it. And the first cut file, if you downloaded it early over there on the Patreon. This was all cut up. It was like a million pieces. I just made it two pieces now. Yeah, these are all the pieces of the beehive. So Nobody wants to paint that. A lot easier, right? Nobody's going to paint that. And I had to use the tape because I was in a rush. I didn't put any tabs on this thing. It was just out there in the raw. I was raw dogging it with the laser. <laughs> 
Do you need a? Do you want a little something to poke those out with? No, nah, I'm using my nails. I've been growing them out for this reason. Just for this reason? Uh huh. See them? <laughs> Barely been biting them. <laughs> I just nibble on them now and then. All right, and we've decided we're doing a uh, brown, like a brown colored tree this time. Yep. We did gray last time, and it just didn't have enough contrast against the white. And we have since done the owls with a brown tree. Well, bees don't like better. birch trees. Yeah, they don't hang out in birch yeah. trees, do they? Is this brown? Jennifer said thought it was eight. Did you mean the laser everything thing? Because is, is that the same? It brown? is nine. I'm gonna confirm. Yes, those are the same brown. I don't know why we have two of them. It's nine Eastern Standard Time. I just posted the link, so it's fresh in my head. Is that whack bat wood? Yes, it is. Is that this? Good job. Yes, it is. They're all over it. 9 p.m. Eastern, yes. Okay. Just wanted to confirm. Oh, Erica says she just got an F1. Congratulations. I see Scott Hamill just ordered himself an F1 this weekend, too. Man, I wish I had more time to mess with my F1. You could you could spend days messing with the F1. You could put it on. Like, I really want to go put it on things. I want to engrave one of my helmets. I have things that I need to get done with that thing. Oh, guess who else is here? Oh, Peg Egg has joined us. Peg Egg, how you been? <laughs> She's excited about a bee theme. And it looks like a lot of our friends might join us tonight. Helen said, will they have a chat? And Resin Dragon Studios says, yes. Resin Dragon Studios, are you familiar with their podcast setup? Yes. She said, the laser everything dudes are cool. Can't wait. Yeah, they're cool. I, I was listening to their podcast <laughs> and watching their videos, but then busy season hit and all my podcasting had stopped. <laughs> well, that in uh, last year, I was production, so I was in the back a lot. So I got to wear like headphones all the time and I could listen to my podcasts and just do my thing back there. Because Tanner was supposed to be doing all the marketing and uh, video editing, but we switched back this year. Now I get a lot less podcasting happening. Um, I was going to say something else. But, oh, Helen said, where did she say? So they made the cartoon B file even harder. Why? Just why do you hate me so much? <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking it's not harder. That's I'm right. I'm thinking it's not harder. This one's gonna be easier. You keep keep dropping those comments, Helen, and then I'll make all of this font print. <laughs> so you'll have to place each letter. Mandy's excited. She loves the bees. Her her niece, who's two years younger than her, loves bees. Everybody she, says they love bees, but why are they going extinct then? Jennifer asked, with the X-Tool P2, do you have to puzzle the 16-inch inch backer piece? Mm, yes, it's still no. a desktop. Well, you, it, Not if you get the automatic pass-through. Yeah, I was going to say, well, yes. I guess there's two answers to that. You can either use the automatic pass-through, which would mean you need a room plenty of room in the front and the back to run the backers through. That's true. Or uh, you can use it as is, and, and you'll need the riser base, like ours is set up behind us. Uh, and <laughs> over here, can you see that it's on its little riser base? And it's there's on the stilts. A, uh -huh. And that's so that we can run the, the rails, the pass-through rails on it. And we have to pull the table out and make sure there's room in the front and the back for uh, you kind of the put rails. It on an angle, a little caddy corner. And then, um, or you can puzzle piece the backer. You can do it either way. That was a long-winded ans answer to your question, which is typically how I answer questions. <laughs> and I keep hearing the term, have, do I have to puzzle piece the backer? Puzzle piecing is easy. Like, Watch the video. It's yeah, really not video. that hard. It's super yeah. easy. You could probably do it in like two minutes, tops. 
Something. Once you learn to do it, <clears throat> you got it. It's not hard after that. And not everything can be puzzle piece. Like this one, maybe, totally. somewhere in the tree. Yep, I have a puzzle. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Do we have a measuring You stick? could puzzle piece it right there. Oh, yeah. Puzzle piece it right there. I think I actually did with the... Somebody asked you for it, didn't they? Yeah, somebody asked me for it with the owls. I think the owl one is puzzle pieced. Let's see here. JJ Sather, I am here at the softball every Tuesday. Y'all are what keeps me awake, laughing and enjoying the time. It usually takes me an hour and a half to get wherever I'm going. Oh, well, I'm ho hopefully we're entertaining. Yeah, well, that's a long trip for some baseball. Some softball? Softball, same. I was a softball coach for so many years. Chantal is here. Alan says, come on, Gary, you have time to play with your F1 after all. Who needs sleep? We do need some time to play with the F1. There's more Did you guys see that... my goals this week? I have no time for F1 in this week. And he didn't have them all. I actually saw, I read it over his shoulders, uh, and I was laughing because I was like, that's, I hope that you don't think that's everything you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that is not, that's not everything that's on my list. There is so much more. Like, for example, at home. Oh, yeah, at home. I have, uh, I have home goals this week, too. Yeah, we didn't even put those I up. I don't right? actually live here. <laughs> his, uh, his side of the sink, we have, like, double sinks in the tiniest bathroom ever. Yeah. Actually, it's not too bad. It's the tiniest shower ever. It is, it's like showering in a linen closet. For sure. Yeah. It's like showering in the cruise. Every time I try to wash my feet, I hit my head. Well, that, the, his sink is dripping and it's constant dripping and it's been dripping for like two three weeks yeah at yeah. least a couple of weeks and yeah. he was supposed to fix it last night he went up there to fix it and he came back down maybe five, five minutes, minutes later. and i was like did well, you I, get it I fixed replaced the, i replaced the shower head no not last night things, sunday then. night anyway yeah oh yeah that's a whole other story so he goes up with a new shower head for our master shower. Yeah, overhead, go overhead. Turning red. <laughs> he goes up with a new shower head and a new, um, what is it? What do you call that? Uh, sink fixture. Oh, faucet. Faucet, yes, thank you. Thank you. A new faucet for his side of the sink. And he comes back down five minutes later and he's like, well, I can't fix that. That's Sink. not what I said. Yeah. I said. He didn't say anything. He was just moseying on through. I said, is that thing, was that thing the original? Is, is that, that the contractor? original? Is that the original faucet up there? And I said, yeah. It's not that no. old. And I, I said, and I yes. Said, well, it, ain't, it ain't happening today. <laughs> <laughs> and I wa walked on through to my office. Yep. Walked on through the kitchen. I'm over there making dinner. Like a regular old housewife, That's which right. I hardly ever do. <laughs> I was like, give me my enchiladas, woman. <laughs> that is not what we were having. <laughs> we had taco salads. <laughs> yeah, we had taco salads. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so today, I, this is why my hair looks like it does today, because I went in there to take a shower this morning. Oh, you're being ridiculous about it, though. No, I, no I'm not. So I go in there to take the shower. I turn the shower on, and... Let's just start already <laughs> that the faucet or the spout that comes out of the wall for the shower head is way up high. I mean, it's way up there. So I don't know why it's mounted. That little pipe coming out of the wall is so far up, but it is. And when we use like your little shower caddy and you hang one of those on there, the first shelf of the shower caddy is actually taller than the shower because the pipe coming out is so tall. Well, Garrett insists we need a new one with the little spray handle, you know, the detachable spray handle. I got to wash my feet and my lower half <laughs> because it's so high up and I can't <laughs> bend over to like wash my feet and stuff. <coughs> so you got to try to wash your feet like this. Nobody washes their feet. And I'm not like kidding. That. It is the smallest shower. So anyway, he gets it installed and that thing now sits up even higher. So the shower, the water stream is now shooting to the back of the shower wall 
and it's up high. It's actually probably face level to me. <laughs> so it hits the wall at my face. So I can't stand in front of the shower because it's now spraying directly in my face. And I said, I can't use that shower. He's still in bed this morning when I get back in there. And I was like, I can't use that because I saw it when I installed it. <laughs> He said, turn it sideways. That's I was like, turn. not turning it sideways. I said, take it off and use it like it's intended then. And I was like, how am I going to do that? How am I supposed to juggle that? Which, by the way, I have to get on my tippy toes to reach it and get it off of its little cradle. And I was like, and use my little loofah sponge and shave my legs and hold this wand. I was like, that is not happening. Look, all I'm saying is if something ever goes down, how are you going to clean yourself? <laughs> I mean, if we find a waterfall... Same type of deal. I still have both hands free, and I can stand in or out of the water. Yeah, but you're going to have to choice. hold your bottle of shampoo, otherwise it's going to float away. <sighs> anyway, right. he comes in after I'm done. After I decide I'm not to actually get in there, and I'm standing literally in the uh, underneath of it. There's so much. There's, <laughs> it's uh, so high up. I'm standing under it, and I'm not even getting wet. My hair never gets wet, and I was like, I'm not doing this. I'm not even sure how I'm going to do this. So I step back out. I turn it off, and I was like, it's not happening. And he, and then I was he like, got, what are you doing? You only got your shoulders wet. <laughs> and so he goes in there. He is like, here's what you do. And he turns it sideways. So now the shower head is now spraying to the other wall. But it's now going horizontal across the shower. I mean, tell me you're not going to get your pits clean. <laughs> right? I guess I could have gotten up in there like that. Anyway, we are still... This is an ongoing saga. That was not resolved this morning. And I still didn't get a full shower. And look how much paint is on that. You didn't even have to put it in the thing. <laughs> All right. Back overhead. I'm sorry. Oh, our drama. Yeah. So on Garrett's list of things to do is still to fix the faucet. And now, I guess, it's still to fix the shower. I don't know what we're going to do about that. And the backyard. Well, that's another story. That's another story, and I'm not even I'm not even ready to acknowledge that. Mandy says my faucet, my bathroom faucet is dripping too. I'm just waiting for my dad to come over. LOL. Yeah, Garrett's. I was like, well, what do you need? He's like, some pipe. And I was like, I looked at my watch. He's like, mm mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> this was like seven o'clock on a Sunday. <laughs> I was like, I have files to work on. I don't have time for home projects. <laughs> what is this, a home project? What is this, a home project? Uh, let's see. Oh, catching some play people up on what's happening tonight. Who made that shower design at Christian Lapis? <laughs> I'll tell right? you who made that shower design. It was a giant. I'm not kidding. The jolly it's green way giant. up there. Because it's even tall for me. Like, my arms were falling asleep because it was so high up. Just changing the, <laughs> changing the shower head. When you go to reach it, is it tall to reach the thing? Because I have to stand on my tiptoes. It's probably With right. a slip hazard going on. Imagine wet, bare feet. Out. Really what are you going to slip in that shower? Right so you slip and what? You <laughs> fall up against and you wedge yourself in between two walls? Yes. You're not going anywhere in that shower. You're not going to fall down. You can't right? fall down. You might get clumped up towards the bottom. <laughs> right? You're just you're stuck like you're stuck in a tube. But no one's getting flat but you're like You're not top. getting flat on the floor. <laughs> but you're fine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lois says they have an attachment that sticks on the wall that you can put the shower head on at an easier height, and it makes the shower head adjustable. There you go. Oh, like mouth that little head lower? Oh, because that was the me. other thing. Yeah. My idea was I was just going to tape took... the handle to the wall. Oh, gosh. We're not doing that. But he did come in, come in with his sassy attitude, takes it off of the little <laughs> mount, and tries to jam it in. Like the shower caddy. He's trying to wedge it in the shower caddy somewhere, and it just kept falling everywhere. I was like, no, no, that's not happening either. Like, you're just being difficult. <laughs> you're the last uh, person I'm taking with me on the zombie apocalypse, Kim. Christian said he'd love it being 6'4". Yeah, right? We still need a step stool, for it sure. It is a Well, I, nope. You'd think so until you go to wash your legs and feet. And you hit your head. You know how many times I've hit my head in that shower? On what? Just the wall? Just walls? the wall. 
Yeah, but because I don't but even the shower head being that tall is great. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, but other than like that, I hate hotels because hotels I don't have to duck in the shower. Yeah, there's a shorter. I'm not even as tall as Christian. I couldn't imagine. Oh, we've got some buffering going on. Let's see. I'm watching you. It doesn't look like it's slow. I was just moving too fast. I do that. <laughs> yep, other people, a lot of people are saying you can get a little holder to suction cup it to the wall. <laughs> Gotta do some parkour and scale those shower walls. Yeah, you don't even need to do parkour. I can just lean up against the back and walk up the wall. It's... <laughs> Well, that's the whole reason why, you know, I mentioned this before, that we had a whole leak going on from that shower down oh, to the family that room. Is a, yeah, I still have to replace the ceiling in the living room. Yeah, the ceiling in the living room has not been repaired yet because I said, no, I'm not doing that not until, I'm... until we replace, we redo that whole bathroom. I want to take out the jetted tub and make where the jetted tub is an actual super wide shower and then where the shower is can become an actual linen closet. Fine by me. I don't know what that space is going to be. Used I don't know. It's, it might be a tight linen closet. <laughs> I couldn't actually get in there. Where are we going to fit? Like <laughs> three hand towels full. Jam another fourth one in there. Well, that's the reason why. So, yeah. So there's like, I refuse. And the floor is still half. The floor hasn't been repaired. We've got subfloor showing. I feel like and, we're squatting. Yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> we're squatting in a home that was under construction. This, yeah, I don't know what. We only moved from our other house, which was nice. Because you know what? Sometimes you get knocked down, but you got to get back up again. Never gonna keep me down. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you drink a whiskey drink. <laughs> you drink a vodka drink. You drink a cider drink. You drink a lager say, drink. This is what happens when you're a squatter. So, fun fact, Chumbawamba were squatters when they wrote the song. That's... Is that something you just made up? No, look it up, for real. Interesting. Yeah, that's why it came to my head. Lois says, I have, if you have two bathrooms, his and hers. I know, Lois, I was thinking, you know what? I might have to start using the, the kid shower which is disgusting, but now that there's only one kid and that's the neat kid, <laughs> it's not as bad. I hope all the other kids aren't watching. They are not watching. They're not watching. They do not watch the parents' YouTube channel. <laughs> Except maybe Tanner. Tanner will watch on occasion. That's Only we, during lives. It's because we make them. Hi, everybody. Just noticed the time. Oh, 4.33. Oh, Christine just got here. She just noticed the time. Thanks, Christine. And Scott. I guess Scott's there, too. What's up, Scott? What's up, Christine? Oh, what's up, everybody? Yeah, Scott Hamill just got here. I'm just putting a base coat of white on things. I'm going to paint Helen yellow. said, now I will not be able to get that song out of my head. Right? Right. Song bomb. Song bomb. And just know that nobody's ever going to get you down. <laughs> Christian said, Friday video, laser cut shower slash tanning booth. <laughs> spray tanning booth. We did spray tan in there once. Yeah. It was like the perfect size, mm -hmm. but didn't have But very then good the fumes got everywhere yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah. And everything was, everything in the bathroom got a little bit of tan. <laughs> we learned that lesson. Yeah. We don't do that one anymore. I was like, woo. Sink, you're looking tropical. <laughs> Are the letters black? Are these all going to be black? Yes. Yeah. If you guys just joined us, this is what we're doing. Welcome to our hive. We turn the owls into a hive. And these are all going to be green. I see you left a couple of them pink and blue for fun. Oh, no, yeah, no. That <laughs> was, I was trying to get that out. So. I changed them to all green and all. In the design. Make it easy. See how easy this is going to be, Helen? I actually made less layers to the bees. See, I just made this piece. That's it. They don't and have a bottom some piece. Some of the pieces, right. There's no bottom piece. Oh, and the eyes. But I just thought that would be easier to put together. 
All right, well, the wings are going to stay white, so they should go somewhere else. Yep. Maybe I'll uh, I'll make your little leaves. Do these come out? Oh, no. Nope. You just, just this score time. Marked. Yep. This time he just scored them. I told you I was trying to make this thing easy. I know. Sometimes I, we hear you guys. Like, I can hear Helen. Helen yelling at me for making it difficult. I hear, whoa. Whoa, Garrett, that's too many. Too many pieces. Is that what she says? Uh huh. Whoa, whoa, She says, Mary. why do you hate me? Why do you make me paint the difficult ones? Because they look, well, this is what I told Kim. It is what he just said to me the other day. I said, I said. This is what our signature is. It's our signature style, and that's what people are like, whoa, that looks cool. No idea. Because it was hard. What? Like it's hard? I love painting black. It's my favorite color to paint. <laughs> it's the easiest one. All right, I think these are going to have to go. Oop. Well, yeah, I think I was just going to remove the things that are going to stay white. Did you put two coats on, like, the eyes and stuff? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to take it on the line. It's our business line. It's probably... Uh, just Ed, call him to say your stuff is great. Ed calling back to tell me, have you, are you going to do my design for me, Garrett? I'm working on it, Ed. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's actually up right after my submarine sign. Yep, Jane. And actually before my military sign. No, not before that. That guy, that guy has been waiting two weeks. Oh. And Jenny's got to have hers so she can get to making it. Yes, I know. I'm on it. I'm trying to keep the eyes in the the eyes in their um, pieces together. Well, I was gonna paint the noses pink. Okay, so you put those back. Put those somewhere else. Yeah. I'm at the top of the jam here. Here, yeah, wait. There we go. Put on at the top of the jam. January. Heading into April. Anybody have any good April Fool's jokes? Uh, the one kid we got left at home is the ungettable Grace. <laughs> That's what we call her. <laughs> Garrett always tries to get her, and somehow she foils his plans every time. Every time. Is it and this yellow? And that's what he calls her, the ungettable grace. Um, you can use that yellow. Yeah, that's it. That's not apple. No, that is apple stars. Hold on. You want this gypsy gold. Gypsy gold. Is that this? Yes. Look, you guys are always asking about, or not always, but I've been seeing people asking about the paints. And the fact that you've got to shake them, yes, because they do separate because they have all those. Well, uh, I mean, just like any outdoor paint, like when you get it in the court, you got to shake it. Just as far as you can actually see this, this stuff in there. Now we know you why. You know that there's is, actual additives in ours. We, I guess Proof we have learned as to why they always do gallons of paint in non-see-through containers. I think we know that now, right? I don't want to go see through. I enjoy the or non see through. I, I enjoy the transparency. Uh, well, I was going to say, if you hold them by the sides, this is a good way to shake them, in my opinion. I showed you guys how to shake them. What? When you shook that one upside down? No, you got to juggle them. Step one. Learn to juggle. That's right. That's what you were doing. I forgot you did that. Pretty easy. How many people saw that I had missed one of those green leaves and were thinking to themselves, uh-oh. That's not getting painted. <laughs> That's not getting painted. That's All right, go back painted. overhead. I see we're not overhead. That's not getting moved. That's not getting painted. And I'm out of handle. Do you have two oh, handles over here? Oh, I threw one over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Lois suggested that we could do that 
roller thing that makes us look like wood. And we could, Lois, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> if you are making this as a one-off, go for it. But if you're making it for a craft show, probably Well, don't have I think for a craft it. show, if you lined them all up, you could go through and be like, ding, bang, bang, bang. Swipe, 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 yep. a bunch of them. Give them a swipe. Like, clang, clang, clang goes the trolley. What is happening? Let's see. What did I miss about the squirrels? Oh, Tyra says, you, I love these. You could do so many options, like squirrels that say, welcome to our nut house. Man, we've been, we've been working on a squirrel one for yes, like two, two years. years. at least. Welcome to the nut house. Yep. We've been trying to do one. We started one. It never looked right, but I think this is a great idea. Yep, I've worked totally going to become squirrel it. one, too. I'm totally doing that. I'm going to write that down right now because I love it. Good one for the fall. Yes. Ooh, you can make one that with the squirrel and say, <laughs> I'm a nuts. <laughs> like acorns. He takes it too far. That's what he does, you guys. He always takes it too far. <laughs> Tyra, uh, Christian said yes. Some crazed squ looking squirrels like from Ice Age. Oh, yeah. So funny, right? Crazy one. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, somebody caught my Legally Blonde reference. Nice job. I do that one all the time. Oh, I did that? not think anyone was going to catch it. What's the Legally Blonde reference? What did I say? What, what is it? I do it all the time. What? What? Like it's hard? Yeah. <laughs> I have never seen that movie. I didn't know what it was from. <laughs> nice job. I'm so impressed. Veronica says, I got married on April Fool's Day. Hey, that's a that's, good one. Uh-huh. That's an easy one to get out of then. Like, do you even need a divorce? At just some point, you just scream April Fool's and walk out, right? Let's see. Amy says, I like the paint in the clear packages. You can see when it's all mixed up and you don't have to guess. True oh, that. true, right? Christine is on it. There are 112 of us watching and only 35 likes. Oh, what? Yeah. Hey, go ahead and hit that like button because tonight <laughs> is the drawing for $1.1 billion. And everybody that hits that like button will get a prize if I win. <laughs> cash prize. Cash prize. Cash money. We got you on film saying that now. That's right. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do, do it. it. I'll do it. <laughs> Depends. Like, if we get over You want us to win the lottery, likes. hit that like button. <laughs> yeah. I said it the other day. If I hit the lottery, I'm going dark. That's it. You won't see me anymore. But before I go, somebody's going to get my business in like 250000 bucks. They're like, here, go do something. <laughs> Alan said, we're approaching the Garrett After Dark portion of the show. <laughs> Happens. Well, here's what happened. I didn't want to be a bummer like last week, so I drank an energy drink. Yeah, I remember last week we <laughs> a lot of low. I was gonna say something else. Low T. <laughs> That's not low T, Kim. I didn't say it. You said it. <laughs> I knew where you were coming. I knew where you were going. Low E. Low E. Low E. Uh -huh. Not low T. Maybe it was a little low T. I don't know. <laughs> Is it hot in here? It's so hot in here. <laughs> well, you took it to after dark. <laughs> all right, go overhead. We don't even know what's happening over you here. You want to go overhead because you're all red. Yes, because I'm embarrassed. All right. There's so many of the squirrel things. Tyra said, my husband just said acorns and squirrels that look like Ed from The Lion King. I don't know who that is. There aren't acorns and squirrels in the Lion King, are there? And I don't which, know. which one was it? Oh, Oops. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Good to go. Spit that right out. 
Gary, you have a twisted sense of humor. I love it. <laughs> Maybe the April O for Grace. Here's one for Grace. Mandy's got a suggestion for you. No, no. Okay, let me hear the suggestion, and I will tell you all the things that I've tried. <laughs> she said that there is no joke prank. Like, drop hints all week that you're planning the ultimate prank and just watch everyone squirm all day waiting for it. That was last year's. <laughs> I tried that last year. And she came at me, and she's like, what? What? You gave up. You, there's, that's not a prank. You gave up. I've tried the old bucket on the water, bucket on the... <laughs> On the door frame. You did? I put a bucket of water, balanced on the door, right? About, I just balanced like a one-gallon bucket of water on the door, and I left it cracked. Then she swung the door open, and it didn't fall. And I came in, and I was like, you didn't even get... And then the bucket fell on me. Not a lie. <laughs> I tried to give her bacon strips for breakfast. And she didn't care. Didn't care. Asked she for like, another. Yeah. She's like, give me another. Oh, those are good. Okay, Could I have another good. one? No, she was dead serious. She was like, Could I have I another switched one? The salt and the and the sugar didn't notice. <laughs> I, so what do you think? I put fake toilet paper on the roll. Like would it wouldn't rip. So she just used it and left it there. She was young. But she just there was no getting her. The prank was on me. I had to clean it up. I put I put the uh, cellophane over the toilet. Again, didn't even notice. I had to clean it up. So I was really just pranking myself. This is how, yeah. It's not that she's ungettable because she's so good. Yeah, she's it's that she's so clueless. clueless. Yeah. She's so clueless that pranks don't work. So that's we still call her the ungettable Grace. Yep. <laughs> she doesn't really get why, though. She still does. She's still clueless and doesn't get why she's the ungettable Grace. <laughs> <laughs> so funny and for for the tricks that I played on the older kids those are going to have to be saved for the crews they might have crossed into cruel cruel pranks <laughs> so alright you have a second coat on your backer because you're I almost wouldn't done have. yes you would have you're yes, you would done have. by now all right, you probably can just go with the roller that you have before you go and add. Where's the? It's over there. Where's the see container? It. I don't know. Let's let's hold off. I feel like it's a little dry. <laughs> and if you guys are watching, you can see that it is not dry. And he still has plenty on his plate, right? Get you by. Oh, he was the funny looking hyena. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember the hyenas. I thought they were hilarious. I'm going to get me a cub sandwich. <laughs> Not the only one that remembers that. <laughs> Do you remember that? That was the funniest thing for me forever. I thought it was hilarious. I don't know. What year did that come out? Well, Grace, I mean, uh, Courtney was little. So, so Tanner would have been little. I would have said she was probably three so maybe 96 95 oh. 96 early no i didn't start watching cartoons again until about 98 and there was a lot of thomas tank engine in my at that time yeah no. a lot of thomas the tank a lot of pokemon <laughs> brownies get sprinkled with baking soda instead of powdered sugar I don't know. <laughs> Mandy said, LOL, Grace has been getting you this whole time. Yeah, she's been getting me. That's... <laughs> I stopped torturing myself and gave up. But now that she's older, I think uh, it's time. I think it's time for the torture. I mean, time for the tricks to begin again. Alan says he's got one. How about a dollop of whipped sour cream on a bowl of jello or pudding? I've been on the receiving end of that one. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I went deep with the swap and the sugar and the salt and gave it her bacon strips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dawn says Lion King was released in 1994. Makes sense. I think, I think Courtney was maybe three 
because I remember that because I bought her a Hawaiian King toy when I was trying to convince her to get her ears pierced. Well, what they did is they pierced one ear, and then the kid refused to get the second one to ear, ear pierced. You know how they do them both now? Well, back then, they hadn't figured that out yet, and they did one ear, and then was trying to go in for the second ear, and she was not having it, and she was only like three, and I had to promise her a toy from the Disney store. Wait, and that was for April Fools? That's messed up. No, that no. was that was Lion King. I was back to the Lion King, and when Lion King came out, right, which has we nothing to do with torture. April's. What? Oh, <laughs> we it was April torture. Fools. Got her ears pierced. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, you thought we were getting ice cream. Nope. Yeah, poor kid. But that's okay. She got her Lion King toy, and she got her second ear pierced. <laughs> that's okay. I put another hole in her body. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That was Look, a thing. Look, and you wonder what happened. There you go. But it, it was like um, maybe... If you, if you know Courtney now, <laughs> Courtney's got like 27 piercings now. Yeah. It wasn't so bad. That's all she needed was like a half hour in between so that this one stopped hurting and then she was willing to do the other one. Just a little bit of time to forget. Yeah, like just it wasn't, you know, it's just like a only painful for a moment. Hmm. Huh. I think these it's are this one. Things. Yeah. Were you, were you trying to figure out which wing? I thought that's what you were yeah. doing. Me too. On it. Look how easy this is. So My goodness. easy. So easy. It should be illegal. Look, it's only four fifty-two. That's how quickly we're getting through this. Thing. And we're eight minutes late. Right. Due to technical difficulties. This line isn't so bad. I'm not really helping. Sure aren't. <laughs> Helen says, I love how we're talking April Fools, but not Easter. <clears throat> Easter came too fast. Yeah, it was way they too early this year. She told me yesterday <laughs> when Easter was, and I was like, wait, what? Yeah. That was funny because he said something about oh his um the marketing calendar. So if you're now part of the master tier, you will see that you've got an April marketing calendar, and he had a bunch of Easter stuff in there. <laughs> and he goes, oh, I gotta go back and adjust my calendar. There's a lot of Easter stuff in that one. And I was like, yeah, no, nope, it's over. I kinda, missed it. Yeah, we kind of missed it this year. We didn't do. And I know that... Uh, well, I feel like I have like three more weeks. Yeah, it's usually in April. I'm going to have to talk to the Pope. <laughs> My sister told me she's going to be... She always hosts Easter and we do a whole egg hunt and the whole thing. She's like, oh, by the way, I've got in, I've gotten invited to something. She's going to bed and breakfast or something. Anyway, she's like, I'm not going to be around for Easter. You guys are going to have to handle it yourselves. I was well, like, do oh, we even dang. have any... Egg hunters anymore? Um, my nephews, well, no. They're all great grandkids for her now. Yeah. Yeah, no. Everybody's Time too flies. old to hunt eggs anymore. Grace will still go hunt eggs. <laughs> Ooh, that's how we get her. When is it? The 31st? Yes. We. We don't hide any eggs, and we let her look for them for 24 hours. <laughs> <clears throat> Poor Grace. Poor Grace. Poor me. She's the, doing, she was pulling the ultimate I'm rubber, you're glue. Oh, wait a minute. I think this goes up there. This goes down here. And this one goes right here. Man, I think you're going to have time for a little shading or something on this tree. Yeah. Oh, that's the second person. Somebody else earlier, and I forgot to come back and acknowledge you, um, joined us um, on Hi from Italy. Like they were, It sounded like she was on vacation in it from Italy, in Italy, but joined us anyway. But I don't even know how to say this. 
Massimiliano. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dave oh. Bernardo says hello from Italy. Well, hello in Italy. That is super cool. What time is it there? Is it early in the morning? Yeah, I don't know what it is. This is like the wee hours in the morning. So Cass wants to know, um, when did we announce the Master at Tier? We haven't fully announced it yet. Garrett a little bit jumped the gun. Oh, no, I didn't. But it's out gun. there on Patreon, so some of the patrons that have seen it have joined it. This is how I operate. I jump first, and then I assume that somebody's going to help me or uh, I'll yeah, figure it out. Yeah, I heard your thing. Where did you say that? I jump first and then figure out how to open the parachute. Yeah. On the way down. Uh -huh. yes. That's pretty much how I operate. Yep. I jump first and ask questions next. <laughs> On the way. Okay, you got it. Like if Kim were to come into the room and yell, Oh my God, quick, we have to jump out of whatever. I'd hold her hand and we jump. That's it. But if I ran in the room and I'd be like, Oh my God, quick, we got to jump. Kim would be like, Why? How far? How much? What did you do? There'd be a lot of questions. By the way, it is 10 p.m. in Italy. Ooh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Look, put us on like a little podcast. Go to sleep too. All right, let's see. Are you still overhead? You sure are. Mm -hmm. Look at how cute this little guy is. It goes together like a breeze. Look, I saw you kept the bees Can right we? where I put them. Good job, babe. I move this guy a little bit, only so he would touch both. Oh, both to branches. hold him on a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But otherwise, Kim's becoming quite the designer. I'm just relegated to cut file guy. Not loving it. <laughs> um, Martin asks, "Are you using super glue to glue those items together, and how does it hold up That's outside in the sun and the rain?" Starbound thick. You can get this in our store. You can get this kit in our store. I guess I should plug us a little bit, right? Yeah. Uh, we're using our Foxy Hughes paints. So if you haven't heard about them, they are outdoor paints. Most of you guys have joined us before and know about, all about them. But those are the paints we're doing. We're using. Those are now back in stock. Then you know um, what? You know, did you see Mandy's... Uh... Yeah, how many of you guys thing? actually saw that Mandy posted she did her whole uh, bathroom cabinet in the Foxy Hughes paints. Uh, Garrett was saying the same thing. He's like, well, you should paint a piece of furniture. And then Mandy shows up with a bathroom cabinet, a piece of furniture painted. And then we were talking about um, needing the um, hummingbird, and then Mandy created a hummingbird round. <laughs> Mandy's on point. Yeah, she's all over it. She's been, uh, oh, I know what happened. Mandy's tapped your phone, I think. <laughs> and your, and the phone in your basement. She tapped your cell and your phone in the basement. I don't know. What do you think about that uh, yellow? Should I have used a, yes, a less fluorescent yellow? Should we have used apple stars? No. You hate the pop. It's bright. Yeah, it is. Like a bee is. Yep, Kat says the tree definitely needs some bark or some shading. Well, we yeah. got time. What time is it? It's only 4.59. You have one minute. Get some shading in there. I got one minute to shade. <laughs> Get that out your way. Yeah, I can see it on the on the screen over here. He's cute. Well, you're not going to use that black, are you? I see you have pulled this black plate. Oh, yeah? You're thinking, like, dark brown, right? I'm looking for a sponge. Right. Oh, there we are. On it. Where are you going? Right back. You want some antiquing wax? Would that not be right? Maybe paint? Wax would only be if it were 
chalk me? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Kyle says, this whole time I've been five minutes behind the live. I'm a goof, but experienced time travel when I refreshed, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Oh, Mandy says, I took Garrett's advice and bought an older phone on eBay instead of a new camera to make videos slash take pictures. There you go. Yeah, that's what we did. Lois says, should you make the tree look like a birch tree? LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why what? black? Because, look, watch. Well, now not anymore. I just yeah, touched it. I hate that. How about brown? Out. You're just wetting it. He he's trying to thin it out, but why why not? No. Why not dark brown? I don't know because I was just trying something new. I did dark blue on blue last week. Blue on gray. Yeah, blue on gray. So this week I was trying a little watered down. We're experimenting. This is a Test Paint Tuesday, Kim. Test Paint Tuesday. <laughs> Resident Dragon Studios says, LOL. No, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she does design work, too. Oh, Scott says the F1 will be here on Friday. Let the madness begin. We were talking about that before you got here, Scott. Somebody else got a new F1. And I was like, oh, yeah, Scott got himself an F1. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. I know you will be using it at the craft shows. What are you doing here? No. <laughs> still hate the still hate the black wash. Mandy says, I say we need a shading techniques masterclass. Christian says black edge and some wood grain tool with dark brown on top. Right. Well, you guys got up. all day, all day to paint signs. The sign is eighty-five dollars. I was gonna say one twenty, one twenty-two, whatever it takes. <laughs> one twenty, one twenty-one. Can you guys see it? I guess you can see it some. There we go. You don't like the black, washed out black? It's fine. I think it's something new, a little different. Different kind of zhuzh. So the shading is supposed to make it look round, right? To yeah. Give it that uh -huh. rounded edge look. Why did you hold it up? You need to hold it up and hold it flat for a second. Um, in your little, you held it sideways or something. You couldn't really see it. I, was, I didn't know where the camera was. I was just guessing. All right, that's enough. Oh, I've got plenty of time, Kim. No, you, but you're, it's too much shading. It'll dry lighter. Yeah. Do you want to be an artist or do you want to make some money, Amy said? <laughs> kind of both. Shade King. I am. I would like to come back in with the little marker and hit those score marks real quick. Yeah, they need to be um, maybe engraved. Oh, that was wet. Cam. Cam? Cam! He's looking for a marker, you guys. Did you find one? Mm -mm. Oh, that marker is dead. I mean, here's a Sharpie. But don't mess it up. Every time, half the time he makes a sign on the live, we can't sell it. What? <laughs> we could totally sell it. You just don't want to. You want to keep it and hoard it all for yourself. I'm like, give it to the public, Kim. I don't think I love this. What? This marker. Why not? Look.
Let it sink in first. <laughs> there you go. I mean, it looks good on the video from a distance. From a distance. But I can see it real time, you guys. Wow. Yeah, Mandy says it looks great on camera. <laughs> The M in welcome looks odd. I get it. Talk I to see the it, designer. But, yeah. It does look a little weird. Maybe you could stretch it. I don't know what you could do about that. Try color in the highlights. No. Q-tip. Yes. All right, you're getting, they think, <laughs> Kim is fiery today. <laughs> yeah, I also had the other half of that energy drink. We were making sure we were in it. Oh, you're going white. Okay, okay. Let's see what you're doing there. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. I'm gonna need some real white paint. Do you want a dab? No, oh, it's dry. And do you need the micro Q-tips? These guys? I don't think so. I think I need the micros. Look at that. Oh, Char says, got to say thank you for your videos. I've been learning a lot from them, and I've also been learning more about Adobe Illustrator. So thanks for that from Galliano Island, British Columbia. Oh, cool. You are welcome. I want everybody to do their thing. Where's the clay round tooly thing? Oh, yeah, that might work, too. You know, your little ball thing. Oh, yeah. There you go. These micro ones worked well. I did it. Oh, that well, wait till you see this up close. You're not going to love those. Oh. Get them, on, get them on up there. Keep it going. Keep... Well, I just think maybe the brown, maybe brown paint with the micro tips. I'll just go back over, yeah, with some brown paint and a micro tip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you got it. Yeah, that, I understand now. The extra right. details and dimension add so much value to differ differentiate it. Just need to find the right balance of time and investment per sign. Who does that sound like? Christian. <laughs> On things where I have tiny things like this, I'll make a spray paint template so I can lay it down and spray it. Lay it down and spray it. Well, a batch amount. Like a, the jolliest bunch of a-holes. The car. I do six cars at a time. And I lay down a, a template where I spray paint, I spray the whole car, I lay it down where I spray the green, I lay it down where I spray the lights and the fenders, and then I come back in and just do the wood grain look real quick. Yeah, but that's like a whole spray paint thing. But you only do that for a few of them, yeah, right? just for a few of them. Yeah, the car, what else? Oh, the trees um, in the pine trees. So it was like a Christmas oh, the winter. Pine cone one. Yeah, welcome yeah. pine cones. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See what you can do to break that. I reinforce this guy right here. <laughs> Nobody else saw the eye roll, Garrett. <laughs> I think it's great. I love it. Be the best. Be the best. <laughs> All right, you want to wrap it up? All right, I got to wrap it up. I got things to do. I got to go get some enchiladas. And don't forget your lottery tickets. You go get your lottery tickets. I will meet you there, and I will see you tonight at 9 over there on Laser Everything. Go, go hang with the boys. See if Kim can keep up. Oh. Oh. <laughs>